What's up everyone, it's Zinio. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy A55 and I'm excited to see how this runs through our gaming gauntlet of Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Warzone with the Backbone, of course, and PUBG Mobile. Performance-wise, the Samsung Galaxy A55 that we have is running a Xenos 1480 for its processor and Eclipse 530 for its GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and everything plays out on a 6.6 inch Super AMOLED 120Hz HDR10 Plus screen and it has a 5,000mAh battery. So before we start the test, let's do a quick temperature check real quick. So we're running 27.7 on the front here, not too bad, nothing out of the ordinary, and also it has a very nice pink back 27.7 28 and all right i'm guessing this is where the processor is somewhere around here okay cool all right now that we are back in I, I gotta say this is running a lot better than i expected for a affordable option in samsung's lineup let's just check our settings real quick all right so it's on custom because everything's on very high and also because we're on 60 fps so yeah oh oh all right, and also we are in normal mode, so yeah, that's just to see how far we can take this. And all right, let's just get into the simulated universe. All right, now we're in. It's a lot more smoother than I expected, actually. It's a lot faster, even when it comes to what's the word for it? Loading in. Let's get into combat. All right, let's see. Let's bounce as we always do. Ooh, very nice. Watch this. Watch very smooth. Not no major frame rate drops. Wow. Okay. Alright, I can wait to see how this handles Genshin Impact though. Great. Balance. Alright, let's go for a ulti. Let's see how smooth this is. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay, there was, there was a, a quite a big pause in between this and getting back into the combat phase. But besides that, the, the animation played out very well. Like, I, I really wasn't expecting much from this, but this is working out. Uh, very nice. Let's get in March 7th, Cascade in. Very nice. All right, bounce again. Yeah, so the thing is, I'm not really seeing a huge drop in frame rate for any of these things that's happening right now. It's actually not too bad. Like, I, I actually, I, I've got no complaints so far. I mean, given the price range on this thing, it's, it's, it's actually doing pretty well. Bounce. Hopefully we can get the guard down. Oh, nice. And let's just go for this. All right. You should be able to wrap this up in a bit. All right, let's just get... Oh, okay. All right, let's get everything down. And yep. Squeeze them. Stack everything up. Let's go. And let's see Japart how his ulti is like with the phone. And honestly, a lot better than I expected. It's not bad. Better than other phones I've tried out, honestly. Pretty good. All right, in succession, four all these at once. We're doing pretty well. Look at that. That's smooth as hell. All right. Oh, last game. Hey, hey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the shields up one more time. Very smooth. All right. Swipe it. Swipe. And then let's do this. Wackies. Ooh. Come on, bounce. Nice. We got a break. And then just keep the whacking in. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So with that, let's just check our temperatures real quick from the bottom up. 35.4, 35 35.9, 35 37.1, 38. Oh, oh, I didn't really notice it at first, but this thing is pleasant. That, that's that's pretty sick. All right, let's continue this thing. 26.9, 39.3. Okay, let's continue. 
37.4, 37.7, 37.9, 38.6, 42. But honestly, it doesn't feel like it's 42. It's it's actually going down. It's a 35 right now. Wow, 36 right now. This thing does pretty well with thermals. Okay, but let's see how this is like with Genshin Impact. All right, we are in, in Azuma City right now and it's it looks beautiful on this screen. Look at that. Oh my lord. Okay, let's just check settings real quick. Nice little sunset. Graphics right now, everything's set to high. And we're on 60 FPS as well. So, let's just see how this phone handles Genshin Impact. I mean, compared to Honkai, Genshin is still Genshin. You know, and we might run into some stuff. And let's just uh, switch it through. I mean, our characters look really good. But let's just uh, do a little swappy swap. See whether any frame rate drops over there. Alright, good dive look. Yeah, as well. I'm Sato, Yaka, Melody, and I'm gonna go back to Tartala. Actually, I still can't pronounce his name. All right, and I'm just gonna use dialogue, of course. And yeah, so far, so good. No huge frame rate drops whatsoever. I guess that's what I'm seeing as well. We're in 60 FPS, and it looks quite promising. Let's just run through in Azuma City before the night falls. And so far, yep, things are rendering in right now. All right, little jump, combat thingy. All right, it's not J3, that's for sure. Actually running a lot smoother than I expected, which is, yeah, this A55 is, oof, okay. Only thing is though, that it is heating up a little bit on the side over here. Let's just check that real quick. 36.6, yeah. And I was sort of playing this right off the bat from Honkai Star Rail, so we're doing okay, it's at 96%, right now we're at 94%. So far, it's taking about like one and a half-ish percent of battery, we're at 94% right now. And we just started. Let's keep going. No major frame drops whatsoever. We're doing pretty all right. Nice. All right. And honestly, view distance-wise, anything looks pretty good. And also, again, we're playing on high, so you know, if you bring down these values in the settings, you get even smoother gameplay, so I, I think we're doing pretty all right on high already. Wow. Okay, uh, let's do some exploration and combat. All right. So now that we're out here, let us go and fight some Healy Chills. Just to. Oh, already. Come on. No time to lose. You can run, but you can't run. Come on. Okay, no stunts. It's okay. Let's overload him. Come on. Oh! Okay, so there's a little bit of a hit registration thing. Honestly, it's me, because I do have big fingers, so I can't exactly maneuver as well right here. Let's do an ulti real quick. All right, let's keep whacking him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, is she doing okay for now? I'm just going to destroy the towers real quick. All right, let's get him away. All right, and last dude is like over here. Oh, where's he at? There he is. Someone. And there we go. So I think combat so far is looking pretty good. I haven't seen a lot of frame rate drops and anything. It's been relatively smooth so far. I mean, compared to other affordable phones out there. But all I have to say is that, I mean, this thing is 6.6 .6 inches. So especially if you have big hands like me, it's a bit uncomfortable. And also because it's Genshin, you can't really move the UI around too much. But for what it's worth, it, it works out pretty well. So yeah, let's just get into the abyss. All right, just kind of just deleting everything right now. Look at that. All right, let's just uh, get him in a little nice little line and just woo. That that is beautiful. Be a bit more. All right. And then we're just gonna ulti again. And we're gonna, oh, that's it. All right. So let's just check temperatures real quick from the front. 
40. 0.9 degrees, yeah, okay. That's kind of expected from Genshin, but honestly, with this phone and how it's handling thermal so far, it's actually doing really well. So, 39.6, 38. All right, not too bad. It might be even cooler, slightly cooler than Honkai Star Rail. 39.8, 38, 39, 41 degrees. Honestly, this is, this is doing really well. Wow, okay. I was not expecting this. This thing is, oh. This is, this is pretty sick. Okay, so uh, with that, let's just get into Call of Duty Warzone. But before that, here's a message from our friends at Secret Lab. Here at Geek Culture, Secret Lab is our everyday ergonomic buddy. Whether you're working, playing, or taking a quick nap, we feel less aches and more refreshed, even after sitting for long hours. Secret Lab provides ergonomic support literally from head to toe, from dynamic lumbar support to their proprietary medium from cushioning, and even premium footrests that promote circulation. That's good for you. For more information, check out secretlab.co. Before we get into COD Warzone, let's just check temperatures real quick. We're hot off the heels of Genshin Impact, and we're currently at 91% battery. And let's just check things out. 37 degrees, it has cooled down pretty quickly. And currently, 36.7 at the back, 35, no 35s? Okay, 35 here, but kind of mid to high 35s. As you go lower, of course it gets lower, but yeah, this thing is doing pretty good. It doesn't feel uncomfortable in hand. So with that, let's just slap on the backbone and get into a game. All right, now that we're in game, let's just check out settings real quick. Graphics, we are on high frame rate. Low high res asset streaming data on mobile data plans. Yep, sure. But I mean, we're using Wi Fi anyway, it doesn't matter. And we've uncapped the frame rate. And yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. And with that, let's just get into a match. Didn't get into lobby, so we'll see how this goes. But if Genshin and Honkai have anything to say. Oh, wait, did it crash? Or is it a network issue? Oh, okay, it's a network issue. Okay, cool. But yeah, uh, if Genshin and Honkai have anything to say about it, I think this thing would run pretty decently as well. So we'll see how it goes. I am following this guy. We are going places. Unfortunately, we're hitting right down, right there. Oh, I, I need to, okay. Yeah, you find the button to undo that, but yeah, uh, oh nice, okay, I can work with this, and I have a F tech as well, so not too bad, uh, let's see, uh, how do I, ooh, very nice, okay, this thing plays very well with the backbone, let's take out this thing here, and what the hell, sure, sure. why not, right? Hello, goodbye. The A55 is a really good size for this thing. Let's check. Okay, nice, nice little inventory section here. All right. Honestly, this thing is running a lot better than I expected it to be. And with the backbone, this experience is just elevated like hell. I mean, it's a bit choppy here and there, but you know what? Like, I'm not really complaining about it too much. It's so doing really good. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. God damn it. Okay, no, this is my fault. I I, I just made stupid mistakes and I'm getting executed. Up, Dude sucked. Here, Where do we go? We're gonna go for the go for quick TTK. Let's go. Straight up. Do not go there. I'm going to be aiming for somewhere along this line, so this is a bit more cover for me to work with. Except it's... God damn it. Except that, uh, you know, it's a it's a garage. Okay, cool yours. There you go. Come on. God damn it, not again. Uh, so for now, let's just check temperatures and currently 85% battery. Let's check temperatures out of the backbone. All right, so 41.3, 41, 40.9. Yeah, doing a okay. No huge frame rate drops, nothing. If anything, they were just like network issues. But outside of that, this thing is doing pretty well. 42.6, 39.8. Yeah, this, this thing's doing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
All right, so we're 85% battery right now after playing three games in a row. And that's been about half an hour now. So let's um, go on to the last game, PUBG Mobile. We're on to the last game, PUBG Mobile. Let's check the temperatures on the phone real quick. Currently 84%, down from 100% at the start of Honkai Star Rail. 31 degrees has cooled down quite a bit. I had to take a little break, but you know, 31 degrees, not too bad. 31 at the back as well. 32 here, okay. Nothing too crazy. All right, and let's get into PUBG Mobile. All right, so now that we're in game, let's check our settings real quick. So graphics, red smooth graphics, frame rate ultra. Uh, oh, we can go extreme. Wow. Okay, cool. We we'll, we'll go extreme then. All right, anti aliasing four times, and with that, we are good to go. So let's just get into a game. All right, so so far so good. I mean, it is very smooth. And honestly, I was, I'm kind of surprised that I can go up to extreme FPS for this thing. So, yeah, let's just see how it goes in the match. And we are going 3, 2, 1. No doubt that this phone can handle PUBG Mobile. I mean, it kind of handled Warzone pretty well. Handled Honkai and Genshin relatively well. And I mean, to other gaming phones I've used, of course. But yeah, this, this, thing, is, this thing has been madness. I really didn't expect the A55 to be doing this well. All right, let's go down. Get in real quick, come on. Come on. Very nice. Ace 23, I can use that. Backpack. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, that's a quick. It should be fine. Haha, <laughs> loser. All right, and just as I was complaining about not having enough, we have enough now. That's great. That's what I need. Sickening stuff. Okay. That's one guy down. We set a whole magazine. But this area is not really that safe. We need to push further up. There's a guy with a suppressor on here somewhere. There you go. Oh my god. Woo! Okay. Nice. Here we go to suppressor now. There you go. All switch through. And there we go. Nice. The speakers are really good because I can really tell where they all are running around and they're running around all over the goddamn place. So it's a little hard to move for now because they're not really a problem just yet. Alright, kill one, keep moving. Oh. Alright, cool. That is one guy down. See you.
County if like one tree to him and I but okay, cool I got him There we go, and we won the game solo, baby. Okay, great. Oh my God. So with that, let's just check temperatures real quick. All right, so we are at 38.9, not too bad. I mean, it's actually much lower than the other games, of course. 37.4, 36.1, let's check the back. 34.4, 34.9, and yeah, it's doing pretty good in thermals. Again, this thing has really, Oh, what, what, what can I say? You know what? Final thoughts right now. The Samsung Galaxy A55 has completely exceeded my expectations in terms of its stability, thermal management, and how good of a size it is for gaming. It handles Genshin, Honkai, and Cod Warzone like a champ on their highest graphical settings. And I have to say, it has some really good speakers for Battle Royale games like PUBG and Warzone because I had a really good idea of where the enemies were. It's comfortable in hand and a great option if you're planning to get a upgrade or a second phone. Would you be getting the Samsung Galaxy A55? Let me know in the comments section below. Leave your questions there as well if you need to ask anything about this phone and I'll do my best to get to them. Follow us on all our socials right here to keep up to date with everything we do. We put up stuff daily and if you like what you've watched, maybe leave a like and subscribe to us. It goes a long way. Anyway, this is it and I'll catch you all in the next one.